So, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, the special armour that has some kind of effect, but first up I'm going to go through each of the damage types and which full outfit negates each of those the best. So, first up is physical damage, and it, no surprise it's the full set bull goat armour, which also has the highest versus strike too. The highest for both slash and pierce is Lionel's set. Banish Knight's chest piece is the same, um, but when it's been a tie I've opted to stick what looks less together I guess. Highest for magic is our first mix-up, so you're using Nox Mirror Helm and then either Azur or Lusat's robe, then the Preceptor's gloves and trousers. Another obvious one, but the highest for fire negation is the full set of the fire prelate armour. The best setup to negate lightning damage is the full omen set or the bull goat set, but replaced with the great hood on either. For holy damage negation, it's uh, the great hood, crucible tree armour for your chest, Godskin Apostle bracelets and Cold Waist Wrap for your legs. Um, and then we're on to the armour pieces with special effects. So here we've got the Royal Remains set which restores 2 HP per second while under 18% of your max HP. Uh, and that's per piece so you can get up to 8 HP a sec um, if you've got the full outfit on. Then we've got the Crucible set, either of them, Crucible Axe or Crucible Tree. They both increase the damage of the aspects of the Crucible Incants by 4% per piece. So if you've got the full set on it, it's 16%. There's Alberic's set, which increases the damage of Thorn Sorceries by 5% per piece, but I don't think the legs do it, so you just get a total of 15% extra damage. There's the Spellblade set, which increases damage of skills that deal magic damage by 2% per piece. So that's an eight, extra 8% if you've got the full set on. And you've got the Briar set, which deals damage and stagger if you roll into enemies because of the barbed wire or whatever it is that's wrapped around it. Uh, your Duelist set and the Rotten Duelist set, the, you will more easily attract enemy aggression if you're wearing these. The Omen set you do increased damage with the Omen Burn and Regal Omen Burn by an extra 5% per piece, so that's an extra 20% uh, uh, 20 damage if you've got the full set on. Um, I'm, I'm going to struggle pronouncing this one, but the, the Glintstone Crowns, the Hyrodos one, you, uh, the Hyrodos one increases intelligence and endurance by 2, but you lose 10% of your FP. Lazuli Glintstone Crown increases intelligence and dexterity by 3 each, but then you lose 18% HP. The Carolos Glintstone Crown increases intelligence by 3, but you lose 10% stamina. The Olivinus Glintstone Crown increases intelligence by 3, but you lose 10% of your HP. Twin Sage Glintstone Crown greatly increases intelligence, so you get an extra 6 for that, but then you lose 9% HP and stamina. And your Hymer Glintstone Crown increases intelligence and strength by 2 each, but you lose 10% of your FP. And the Witcher's Glintstone Crown increases intelligence and arcane by 3, but you lose 18% of your stamina. Uh, Crimson Hood gives you an extra 1 on your Vigor, Navy Hood gives you an extra 1 for Mind, Imp Head Wolf gives you 2 Endurance, Imp Head Fanged gives you 2 Strength, Imp Head Long Tongued gives you an extra 2 Dexterity, Imp Head Cat gives you an extra 2 Intelligence, Imp Head Corpse gives you an extra 2 Faith, Imped Elder gives you an extra 2 Arcane. The Queen's Crescent Crown gives you an extra 3 Intelligence. The Ruler's Mask gives you an extra 1 Faith. Consort's Mask gives you an extra 1 Dexterity. Pumpkin Helm uh, reduces damage from headshots. The uh, Omen Smirk Mask gives you an extra 2 Strength. Mirai Mask gives you an extra 1 Arcane. Mask of Confidence gives you an extra 3 Arcane. Albinoric Mask, you get an extra 4 Arcane, but you will reduce the recovery effects of your HP Flask. The Silver Tear Mask gives you an extra 8 Arcane, but you will lose 5% of your physical attack power. 
Mushroom Crown raises attack power when something nearby or yourself suffers from poison or scarlet rot, and that's an extra 10% for 20 seconds. The White Mask raises attack power when something nearby, again you include, suffers from blood loss, and that's an extra 10% for 20 seconds, or just 6% in PvP. The Black Dumpling raises attack power when the wearer suffers from madness, and that's 10% for 60 seconds. Preceptor's Big Hat increases mind, you get an extra 3 there, but you lose 9% of your stamina. The Crimson Tear Scarab increases the recovery effects of your uh, FP flask. Not your FP one, your HP flask by 10% but increases damage taken. The Cerulean Tear Scarab increases your recovery effects of your FP flask by 10 but increases your damage taken. The Ash of War Scarab reduces the FP cost of, fit of skills by 15% but again increases damage taken by 5%. Flintstone Scarab reduces the FP cost of sorceries by 15% but increases your damage taken again 5%. Incantation Scarab reduces the FP cost of incantations by 15% but increases damage taken again by 5%. Okina Mask increases your dexterity by 3 but lowers your focus by 44. Use Snow Witch Hat increases the damage of cold sorceries by an extra 10%. Radiant Gold Mask increases your damage of Golden Order Incantations by 10%. Azur's Glintstone Crown increases the damage of Azur's Primeval Sorceries by 15%, but increases the FP cost of all spells by 15%. And Lusat's Glintstone Crown increases the damage of Lusat's Primeval Sorceries by 15%, but increases FP cost of all spells again by 15%. The Jar increases the damage of throwing pot items by 15%. Envoy Crown increases the damage of bubble based skills by 15%. Shining Hair Horned Headband increases the damage of the Ancestral Infant's Head by 20%. The Sacred Crowned Helm increases faith by 1. Halig Tree Helm increases faith by 1. And the Halig Tree Knight Helm increases faith by 2. Great Hood increases faith and intelligence by 2 each, but decreases your HP by 10%. The Deathbed Dress, um, any nearby allies will get 2 HP per second while you're wearing it. Raptor's Black Feathers strengthens jump attacks by 10% and 5% in PvP. Godskin Noble Robe increases the damage of the Noble Presence incantation by 20%. Black Knife Armour muffles the wearer's footsteps. Um, Commoner's Garb increases faith by one. And the Guardian Garb Full Bloom increases the HP recovery effects of your HP flask by 10%, but greatly lowers fire damage negation.